Hi, this is Mark Ramke with Ninja Training TV. Today we're going to go over Gunseki Nage Rock Throw. There are a lot of different variations that you can do with this throw. It's all about off balancing and keeping your own balance. So, in Gunseki Nage, the traditional style we usually rock up here in Kumiuch, and then we have to come in with some type of way to start to manipulate the person to get them off balance to take this arm up, step in and get their balance and do the throw. That version is great, I love it. We have one called the cement necklace. I drop down to get his balance off, but I keep mine in a really good squat position. I keep this base arm pulled down as I scoop up and in. His balance is still compromised so that it's easy for me to turn and go. This one has a really similar feel, to like rocking the person down and coming in with like a Koshinage. And I like that version because I might not get the Koshinage. I might just get an arm here to scoop and then be able to do it. One of the things I want to point out with this is my legs. When I'm getting a cement necklace move, I jump and pull my weight down here. As I scoop in, this base leg goes and steps in behind and I'm touching his inner thigh here. I can actually get a throw Uchi Mate Uchi Gake after this where I lift up and take that as well. So I'm attacking that base leg because it makes it hard for him to keep this leg on the ground then. I can control it and lift it and send him off in different ways. So these are a little couple of really fun points with Gun Seiki Nage. I love doing this throw. There's a lot of ways that you have to get into it. Here's one more for you. This is how we teach beginners how to do it. I'm gonna have Kyle out here like this with his arms outstretched. I want to think about off balancing him. So I start with my hand on the outside and I come around like a snake. Now I've scooped up his arm, I've rocked him over onto his right leg, so I step in front here and bring him over even further, then I sink and throw. Really simple, and yes he could counter, and yes he could do a bunch of things, but this is just breaking down basics. So, snake in, take his balance, step in front, Sink and twist. The sink and twist to me is what most throws are. You can break them all down and there's like 90% of throws. If I uproot sink and twist, I'm using my body and my dynamics to do the throw instead of having to have power and pick the person up and actually throw them. You gotta think about angling, distancing, and timing.